three. Have you seen this video? It has since gone viral in just the last what 48 hours. It's sparked a citywide police investigation as well. The smartphone video was posted Saturday showing a group of people driving donuts, doing donuts, burnouts, that sort of thing on the lodge, holding up traffic. The video got a lot of attention on social media, including from the police. Nick Monticelli joining us live this morning. And Nick, Detroit police have a message for these drivers. Yeah, it's essentially we're not going to put up with this. And watching the 6 a.m. rush hour commute start to build up a little bit and seeing how fast vehicles go here on the lodge, it's hard to believe somebody would do something like this, not uh, let alone shutting down traffic, blocking it so they could do it. Oh, my God. Wow. I mean, lots of cars, too. How you going to... Shut down expressway doing donuts. This video has gone viral on social media. You can see several cars spinning out of control doing donuts on the lodge Saturday night. And those who have seen it wonder what were they thinking? They have nothing to do. They got nothing, else to, nothing do. to do. Nothing to do. Nothing to do, period. Yeah. Right. And they find that it's some form of fun. You got to be some laws against that. They're not thinking about life, I know that much. I don't know. These kids be on some other kind. This is a new generation. They on some other kind of stuff because we didn't do that. The video quickly caught the attention of Detroit police. They announced on Twitter they arrested a 25 year old male out of Canton for reckless driving in Rouge Park. Investigators think the two cases could be connected. You can see signs of someone marking donuts in the street in this picture. We believe Chief Craig might have more to say about this today, but did send a statement saying we are not going to tolerate this blatant disregard for public safety in our city. More to come. Obviously more to come again. We expect to hear from the chief sometime today about this, but you can almost guarantee to expect more arrests and some more charges. We're live along the lodge here in Detroit. Nick Bonacelli, Local 4 News today.